already recorded the intro to this video, but after hopping into that game and playing it for around half an hour, I honestly wish I could have my time back. No disrespect, but honestly, all right, I'm gonna play the original intro, but I just wanna make, I wanna make this clear. I genuinely wish that I could buy my time back. I would actually pay more than it cost me to play the actual game, to buy the time that I spent playing that game back. And uh, yeah, we can get into the actual intro now. I just had to put that out there. Okay, so you guys know me, no matter what I play, I'm gonna give my 100% honest opinion on the game. Now today's video, we're playing a game called Xeno Online, all right? I already recorded the intro, but like I said before, I had to completely re-record it after I hopped into the game, all right? Where do I even get started? Before I even actually say anything about the game, I have three things that worry me about this game. The first thing that I'm scared of is the group wall, all right? And I, I'm gonna explain why, all right? So a group wall is a perfect way to reflect the community of the game itself, what they actually think. You would think that, right? So obviously when I go here, I'm already seeing two negative comments. First off, Feels like a cash grab. You waste so much time just flying through Snakeway, then spend Robux just to reset your race, all right? Now, this guy down here said, worst game ever, 750 Robux for new adventure. Now, I'm assuming that what this guy meant to say was 750, because it's obviously three digits, and maybe it got censored, right? So, let me explain what they're talking about. To wipe, all right, so essentially what wiping is, if you ever played Rogue Lineage or a wipe type game, you have a set amount of lives. When you lose the lives, you have to start over, all right? Now, you can either start over as the race you are, or you can wipe into a new race by paying Robux. And I haven't tested it yet, so I don't know, but if what they're saying is true, and you have to actually, you know, pay 700 free Robux to wipe, that's already insane. That is insane. Now, the next thing that scares me about this game is that this game is paid access in pre-alpha. I mean, this game costs money to play. I am scared about that, all right? No game pre-alpha should be releasing for money, and especially not 700 free Robux for a single wipe. So I'm worried... But hopefully, you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to be biased. But yeah, today we're gonna be doing a video on Xenoline. I'm gonna try my best to get my 100% honest criticism on this game. Honestly, after playing it, I'm disappointed. All right. I'm saying this as heartfelt as I can say this. I am honestly disappointed. But please watch the entire video before y'all comment. And uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe. Right now, we're trying to stay down subscribers. We just have 87,000. I don't know where all the new support is coming from. I appreciate y'all nonetheless, wherever y'all are coming from. So one thing that I'm already noticing off rip is that the game doesn't have any sort of beginner introduction. Like I'm moving around the map and I don't see any sort of, you know, beginner guide. And a lot of games could use a system like this. Like I even said about Grand Peace. Grand Peace could really use a beginner guide for players that just maybe find a fruit, but they don't know they didn't game pass to store it. Like now I'm in the game, right? I just spawned in, I'm a regular player, but I don't know where to go from here. All I know is that I need to fight to get stronger. And that's literally it. Like, of course, after watching YouTube videos in the game, I know that there are trainers and stuff like that that I need to go learn from. But I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, if I didn't watch uh, Infernos' video, I wouldn't have known that. So right off the bat, if I wasn't recording this for a video, if I was honestly just a new player checking this game out, I probably would have just stopped playing here. Because I don't know what to do. The game doesn't provide any sort of, you know, introduction as to what to do. Not only that, I honestly wish that, like, the last game I tested for a video, Essence, this game gave you some sort of indication as to what you needed to do as for your, like, your race. Because when you, when you roll a race in Essence, it tells you, like, you your soul resides in a human in this game i don't know what race i am i could be an android i could be a human i have no clue whatsoever i think i'm an android took the ui real quick because i do notice some things we have zenny lies key hp stamina power output lethal blows and life force all right so let's break this down i'm assuming that life force has got to be your health lethal blows uh what's the key for this uh l let's keep this l no it's j okay so what I'm assuming that this is, and if you guys ever played a mod, I don't know what the hell I just did. Um, okay, I just I lost my key. Now I was sleeping somehow. But if you guys ever played a mod, mod a Minecraft mod called called Dragon Block C, how that works is you had the ability to make it so that your punches were lethal or not. And by doing this, you could basically make it so that you would be able to train by not killing people with every one of your punches. So if your punches were lethal, you'd basically be killing them. But if they weren't lethal, you wouldn't. So you'd be able to use this for training with players, you know. So basically, you guys wouldn't be killing each other. So I'm assuming that's what they're doing with this game. If your punches are lethal, you're killing. If they aren't, you're, you're not killing. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Now, like I'm saying, I don't really understand anything about this game. I do see squad missions here, though. So I'm going to go ahead and queue up for a squad missions. The queuing system is nice, at least. I wish I knew how to lock on because there's not like a lock on system for what I'm seeing. And one thing I'm already like ugh, disliking about the game is the combat system. So I just did some PvP against another player on 10 minutes ago when I was trying to record a video on the game originally. And 
from what I'm seeing with this climate system, it basically consists of you clicking and teleporting, all right? Now, I know that this is a simple early access Dragon Ball game. It doesn't need a super advanced combat system, but after playing a game like, uh, what's it called? DBOG, or, uh, for example, Dragon Ball Online Generations, the combat in that game is so much more diverse and unique. And you know what? This is early access. So normally, I'd be like, oh, okay, you know, it's early access. Not a huge problem. Of course, the combat wouldn't be that in-depth. But the difference between that game and this game, or a game like Final Stand, for example, is that those games are free. This costs money. You're paying Robux, actual money out of your pocket to play this game. And not only are you doing that, the game just lacks a lot of things that games that are free do have. A beginner guide, you know, what to do when you hop in. Combat that's kind of, you know, more, what's the word? Like, unique and, and diverse in this. I don't know. I just, I don't like it when, from what I'm seeing, unfinished games are paid access. It's like you're, you're paying money to, to, do a project th that's not even complete. But I think I'm here with the aliens, so I'm gonna try to fight them now. Okay, so it seems like L is the lock on key. So now I'm locked onto this alien. I'm gonna try to beat this alien. Um, can you not see health bars? Huh? I don't know how much health you have. Wait, what? You can't see health bars? Okay, wait, wait, wait. So if you can't see health bars, how do you know how low they are? How do I know when they're about to die? Wait, are you dead already? Okay, yeah. Nope, I figured. All right. The combat is literally just you spam clicking. Okay. I mean, I'm not that mad at that. You know, a lot of games have that. I wish my camera wasn't constantly in the ground, but it's whatever. The clashing system is decent, I guess. That's pretty cool. From what I heard, this game is roguelike, meaning um, basically you have three lives, and when your three lives run out, you get wiped. I don't know why. I don't know why a Dragon Ball game would be doing that. Like, I can understand it for some games, but I feel like. Especially for this game, considering it's paid access. Another thing I have a huge problem with, as you guys can probably tell. I don't know. For me, I'm not I'm not spending 100 euro bucks and actually seriously progressing in a game like this where you have three lives and once those three lives are gone, you know, your 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 entire progression is gone. Just playing the game generally, I'm just like I just feel like there's not much instruction. There's not really much guide as to what you should be doing. Like when I'm playing a game like Dragon Ball Online Generations, and I'm gonna compare this to that a lot, because that's a really good Dragon Ball game. When I'm playing this game, I just don't know what to do. And that's just honestly me. Like for DBOG, you have story quests that are highlighted. For Final Stand, I don't think that they're highlighted, but at least you can tell. Like Final Stand gives you a general direction of what you're doing. It points out exactly what the quests are for. You know, it has a little bit of a guide towards the start. It explains clearly what you're what you're really doing as a player. In this game, I'm, I just feel like I'm flying around aimlessly. I, I don't know what to do, really. And I guess that maybe this game just isn't for me because in those games and in this game, you could say it's kind of different because in this game, you're really just flying around and just fighting. That's it. In uh, Dragon Ball Generations in Final Stand, you're completing quests for, you know, levels and XP. So I, I guess you could make that argument. There is a heaven and there are other planets. So I want to see if I could try to book okay, this guy's space pod and go to a different planet. Can I? Can I do that? Uh... So how you get strong in this game is you attack. Like as you guys can see, this guy is probably stronger than this guy. So they're fighting, and that's how you get stronger. And then, like I, I don't know, like I haven't even done it yet, and I don't feel like doing it. Honestly, for me, it's kind of like Wisteria, where I'd rather literally punch bandits than progress this way. Maybe you guys can do it, but I, when I'm playing the game, you know, I want some NPCs to beat. Okay, that's why I don't really have a problem playing bandit beaters for this game. This just isn't my type of progression system. If I'm being 100 percent honest. I really don't want to sit there just fighting players all day. I, I don't want to do that. And from what I'm kind of understanding, that's legit the only way to get strong in this game is by fighting players. And I just, I don't want to do that. I guess you can make the argument that Rogue Lineage did the same thing, but I feel like Rogue Lineage honestly just did it better. I mean, in Rogue, at least you have a bunch of different classes. You have like a an actual solid progression system. And this game, it just feels like I'm, I'm just wasting my time, to be honest. I don't know. I know I already said this, but it genuinely feels like I'm just aimlessly wandering around on this map. It doesn't feel like there's anything actually that I should like really be doing. I might be able to buy a space pod in here though, so I'm gonna check this out really quick because if I can, I definitely want to go do that. How much are you? We're already five hundred. It's forty-five hundred dollars for a space pod. Can I even? Can I afford that? I have zero zenny. Oh my. I bet to get any you have to do a you have to do the quest, don't you? You have to do those alien quests. Oh man, I, I just I don't feel like doing that. Another thing to me is that the UI feels kinda it feels kinda misplaced. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I just I'm not a huge fan of it. So because I have literally no idea what to do, I'm going to YouTube and I'm honestly I'm gonna see what this guy says, you know. That's how disappointed I am in this game. Like 
Bro, look at this description. Xeno Online is a hardcore fighting game with roots derived from the classic hit series Dragon Ball Z. The game is a blend of high paced combat, fan discovery slash. Yeah, alright, I know I'm cutting this guy off. I know I am, I'm sorry, bro, but like, I completely agree with him. Right off the bat, I, I'm in agreement with him. I hop in game. Xeno Online is a hardcore fighting game with roots derived from the classic hit series Dragon Ball Z. The game is a blend of high speed, high paced combat, exploration, planet discovery, like, I didn't do any of that. Literally my first experience, let me get out of the game. My first experience in this game was me just wandering around for 10 minutes, not knowing what to do. Back to this video. So exploration, pushing your Z fighter through intense training to be the best entering tournaments with fighters. Okay, comments. bro. Basically, oh, all this shit is a lie, nigga. Okay, you know, I'm gonna show you some guys some oh, gameplay. Man. Nigga, I understand I got a good race and all, but why the fuck do they have to make me look like I got a fucking nutsack with a spike on top of my head, bro? What is that shit, my nigga? I just want to load in the game looking like Piccolo. I ain't asked to look like no damn side character with a brain tumor. God damn. Fucking log clothes on? This combat is so bad, dude. Why am I yeah, that's nothing. I don't really do much of the PvP, but even watching it for Nas's video. I mean, I'm just looking at this combat, y'all. Like, I'm not saying anything, but y'all can take one look at this combat. I'm that I'm fight, but... It feels like I'm still fighting a fucking um, NPC that I trying to get like, I don't know, battle power, whatever. He's not wrong. I hopped in the game. I did a little bit of PvP. The, the combat of this game consists of you literally just sitting there left clicking. That's the entire combat. I didn't see any key abilities. I didn't see any galley gun coming on me. Huh? Literally, it's just you clicking. That's the entire combat. Tell me I'm wrong. It's called, bro. Like... This nigga seems so like the PvP seems so brainless. It's just tapping X, and exactly. um, what's it called? Spam clicking. Um, exactly, like I just said. I don't know your mouse or whatever. You, but you know, the training was so brainless. Hold on, let me show you what I did. My lord. Nah, but you wanna from the making of humans, the main thing you wanna do is you get strong enough to kill right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not even hitting each other. Bro, oh my god. Hold up, look at this. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh my god, what did I click on? I gotta spam X and auto click. Also, really quick, I know people are gonna be like, oh, we're just hating on the game. Listen, y'all, nobody's hating on the game. You gotta understand, this game costs money to play. You're paying money to play this game. If we're free, I would understand. But this game costs money to play. So keep that in mind. I win. Bro, this is. I just, this I, is I just want to play. Spam X, spam X, and turn on on quickly. I, I just this. want to play Ashes. No bro, I got the method down. Yeah, yeah, but I, honestly, bro, this Dragon Ball game is better than that. I'm playing, I'm playing. Oh, shut up. This fuck is up, their man. entire. <laughs> that's literally their entire training system, is just that. That's it. I feel depressed after playing that game. Like, that's how sad that shit was. <laughs> bro, if you niggas don't realize what I was doing in that, I literally turned on my auto clicker. And fucking spammed X. That's all I did. And I any game that you can use an auto clicker to progress in, count me out. I was getting a bunch of XP from doing that. Like, let me be clear what I mean by that. I mean like any game that you can just progress to. All right. Look at Rogel for example. You can auto click in Rogel and be stronger than your friend the next day because he didn't auto click. I mean that. All right. This game has so much stuff that it has to improve on. There's a lot of things that I has to do to make the game better. And you know what Visual Studios, bro? They just drop something. They make a huge ass map. Add nothing to it. Add like two trainers in there. Don't balance anything about the game. Just make. He's not wrong. They did the exact same thing for Air Vault D, and they're doing it again in this game. They just keep dropping games, and they, it just feels like they don't care about it. If I'm being completely honest, that's how it feels. They make a couple of Robux and then stop working on the project, bro. Like I'm disappointed. Like, I'm disappointed in them because they have so much potential. Say this game they're good worth developers. They really are amazing devs, but they just keep dropping these projects that they just don't care about. 50 Robux, fuck no. You do not waste your Robux on this game. It's honestly a disappointment. Um, what's it called? I thought it was going to be okay because like all the niggas been, like, that's been playing or whatever, they're like, oh my god, this game is fire. But I've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews about it. Some niggas say, oh, it's good. Some people say it's bad. But majority, it's like, it's bad or whatever. So it's like, you know what? I'm gonna make my Robux back anyway from like buying this game. So I'm like, all right, let me let me buy it real quick. And oh my God, do I wish I had my Robux back from buying that game? All right, well, I'm gonna stop watching his review on the game because I think it's pretty clear what he thinks. And honestly, if I'm being 100% honest, I'm in agreement with them. I hopped in the game, 
and from what i'm seeing first off like i said i don't like the fact that there's no beginner guide all right a lot of games have this problem but with this game it's especially bad because you have no clue what the hell you're doing in grand peace online at least even though there's no beginner guide you literally spawn on starter island and there's two quests there so you know you have the ability to do two quests and you then do set two quests so obviously you know it, that's that but in this game there's no quest so you don't have any clue what you're doing when you start playing the game and even you you would even think that maybe in the description they'd have some sort of clue as to what what you do but it's just false advertising it's literally just false advertising but um yeah um honestly i'm disappointed in visual studios you guys keep dropping games that i feel like you guys just don't care about and me i'm just being completely honest i feel like you guys don't care about now i i, I I'm honestly disappointed because, like I said, these guys have so much potential as developers. It just hurts to see them completely just release these games that it just doesn't feel like they care about. And out of 1,600 people, they've already made 240,000 Robux from this game. Probably more. And you guys believe that. Let's see. Let's see. What a second. 106,000 visits. Let's multiply that by 150. So they've made... How much money even is this? 240 million? All right, my bad. 24 million. They've made 24 million Robux off of this game. That is... I I, I'm just, I can't believe it. I honestly can't believe that. I, I hope that I'm not doing that math correctly. On um, 6,000 times 150, which is how much the game costs. 24 million Robux off of this game. I'm, I'm just... I, look, I can play Cash Grab, all right? I would honestly rather sit there and play Wisteria than this game, all right? I'd rather go beat some bandits in this game. But yeah, I'm honestly disappointed. Um, that's pretty much it for me.